let's say you want to send the output of Pro 7, Pro Presenter 7, into Mimo Live. How do you do that? Well, first you need to go into screen configuration and we're going to add an NDI screen. For other software, maybe a siphon output would be appropriate, but Mimo Live doesn't take siphon. So we might as well cut out the middleman and go directly to NDI since we have that ability in Pro 7. So I'm going to go New NDI. I happen to know that I uh, made it a, a 1080p screen, so I'm going to select that one. Now, the next thing I need to do is select Alpha Key here and enable that. So that's actually most of the work. Um, also, I'll probably not want to, I want to make sure that screen color is not checked. We don't want that to go. Now, let's go into Mimo Live. And first we need to add a video source. So I'm going to click this plus button up here and go to NDI Video. Now you'll see that it has selected uh, Paul 2510 Local. That's that's the source. Okay, yeah, that's the one. There we go. So that is in there. Now I need to have a uh, place in this layer stack for it. So I'm going to click here, plus button here, and I'm going to go to a placer. almost looked right past it. So that's there. Double click on that to add it. Go into video source and I'm going to select the NDI camera feed. You can see that it's there already. Now I'm just going to enable that. When I enable that you can see that over my camera. There we go. Um, just to show you a little bit more of what it looks like I'm going to go uh, full screen here. There we go, and there's my hand. So that is how you add uh, an output from ProPresenter 7 right over here to Mimo Live.